Hi, greetings and welcome again. Clive Branson at Gold Medal Ground Beats. Sorry about this, just adjusting my hat. Right, today I'm going to show you the laxative ground bait. Now the laxative has a special ingredients which includes a lot of salt and uh, obviously uh, a secret laxative ingredients. Uh, we only use the high, highest protein, fish meal, halibut, uh, in, with the creme itself. Now I've made this uh, mixture in such a way that um, you can use it either on its own or you can mix it with a bit of crumb if you want to spread it out a bit further. It comes in a kilo and two kilo bags. The bags are resealable, although when they initially come, they come with a seal on the top. So you simply cut it away and, uh, as I say, you can use uh, it whenever you want to just seal it, keep the freshness in it. It's quite an oily ground bait. Now, the mixing of this is quite similar to most types of ground bait. The first thing you do, you add, you open the top, of course, and if you notice, I'm using green air gloves today. Uh, and there's a reason behind that, and I'll explain that. Although I do recommend you use gloves most of the times when you mix the ground bait because, as I mentioned before, you can mould the ground bait balls much easier. So what I'm going to do, for demonstration purposes, just half a bag. I'm going to introduce the water, as I explained before, a little bit at a time, until I get the mixture. Uh, Quite nice. Now a lot of ground baits, they do recommend, suggest you mix it and you leave it for a while so the water gets absorbed into the ground bait and you then add a bit more water until you get the right feel and the right texture. But for demonstration purposes and time element, I'm just going to quickly go through the mix with you. So as you can see, I've mixed it now. Um, it's quite a dryish mix. I'll just add a little bit more water, I think, just to give it a bit more wetness to it. Again, if like other anglers you use sieve, uh, you use the uh, drill. Helps to mix it, helps to aerate it, gives a bit more consistency. But again, it's always a good idea to sieve. Put it on the sieve. Just sieve all the lumps off. Again, you, you're left with a few lumps on the top. You can either push them through the sieve, but in this case, I'm going to discard those because obviously at the end of the day, you don't want the fish to actually eat the ground bait. And that is a, a fact that if, if it tastes nice, smells nice, the fish are going to eat it. And this is the reason why you put the laxative in this particular ground bait. Because as you all know, bream, skimmers, they'll actually feed over your ground bait, move away, and you've got to wait a while for them to come back over your swim. Well, because of this special ingredient, this stimulates them and, of course, being laxative, passes through their system quite quickly and it then uh, helps them to bring the fish back into the swim. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now that's quite a nice mix, and you can always have a good mix, a good ground weight, if you can make a ball, okay, like that, and crumble it, and it all goes back without lumps left in the ball. Now, the reason I'm wearing gloves is twofold. I'm going to make the ball of ground bait ready to put into the water. Okay, so there's your ball of ground bait. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a film over the top. And what I do, I wet my hands, so I wet my hands, and then I'll start putting a, a film of water around it. And that holds the ball together. <laughs> Lovely. Now, when this goes into the water course, It'll go in a hole without breaking up, but mainly once it goes on the bottom, it'll start uh, breaking up. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, if you'd like to zoom in. Right, it's recording now. Okay, as you can see, it's breaking up quite nicely. All the particles are coming away, creating a bed on the bottom of the river or the lake, whichever you're fishing. There's an oil coming away from the ground bait, of course, because of the high protein halibut oil inside it. And then, as I said, this will attract the fish to the swim. And if they do start mulling around eating it, then obviously, because of the laxative, they'll come back onto the swim and onto the ground bait a bit sooner than normal ground bait.
Okay, as you can see, the oil from the ground weight has come to the surface. So that's an indication that the oil is coming away from the ground weight. Now we're going to look at the ground weight as it's broken down. Creating a nice bed of ground weight on the bottom of your swim.